welcome back. We're just waiting for Duralon cement. This is our, our permanent temporary cement that we love to use. Uh, rarely get any complaints from our patients. Um, it's going through a phase now of setting. You can see it's kind of, kind of like a cobweb kind of a look to it. And so it's a little premature to be removing any of the cement. It is seated all the way. It uh, has full coverage, complete coverage uh, of the tooth. So with cuspal coverage, uh, we're protecting the tooth from any damage. Uh, so uh, what we'll do first is introduce water. I usually do that first, and that will make it separate from the tissue nicely and also helps to speed up the, uh, the set of the material. So just starting, we'll go nice and easy with the cleanup. Still a little stringy. You can see it likes to stick to uh, even soft tissue. As an affinity for uh, just about any surface, I like it because it keeps the temporaries on and it's an easy cleanup after we remove the temp too, so you're really getting the best of both worlds. Uh, many patients will use different types of cements. One's called Final, uh, F-Y-N-A-L. That's a good cement. I would uh, just suggest get, use what com you're comfortable with. But, you know, Temp Bond, I don't think, has its place in posterior. I think in the anterior region, I think Temp Bond works pretty well. But for back teeth, unless you have very long preps, uh, nothing better than, than Duralon been around for years. I have it in my textbooks when I was in dental school. Uh, it's just a super material. Really enjoy it. And now you can see it's almost like taffy now. It's our chewing gum consistency. Now you can pull it in one direction. I usually like to go horizontal so we don't pull anything off. Well, it's still in a doughy, almost a doughy consistency. Right. Now don't forget we do have uh, some in between the teeth to remove. And then I've got to take the cords out. There are two cords just on the mesial. And there's the rest of that material. Look at that, how nice and clean. Here comes the first cord. And I'll be careful not to go up with that. I'll just take it and we'll pull it straight through. I got a good access here. I'll take the cap pliers. And we'll just go straight through. I don't want to pull up yet because the material's still setting. It takes about an hour to cure probably all the way. So I really don't want to pull. There we go. And if you do it just nice and easy, you might be able to get some of the cement that's under the tissue out with it. Uh, there's some more. Fantastic. All I have to do is just send some floss through there and uh, we're good to go. All right, so you spent the morning with me on this one and I appreciate you watching. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm just flossing through. Nice snap to the floss. What I also like to do is put a a knot in the, uh, this is uh, from the Gore people, Gore-Tex. It's a very thin floss. All right. Works well, we're done. Here comes the thick floss. Many times what we'll do is put a little bit of Vaseline on that, and then that slides it right through. It's thicker. That's about all I want to do there. I'll send the thin one through again. It's called Glide, sorry, it's Glide Floss. And we'll just rinse that off and uh, we'll uh, quitting a little early today, which is nice. Always good to be finishing ahead of time and you've got time to go and rest a little bit. Dr. Jerry Cuomo, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next case. Take